Marches were held in more than 180 cities across the country, including Washington, D.C., New York City, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, and right here in San Diego. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Alicia Summers. Local women and supporters of women's rights were out in force today for the fourth annual San Diego Women's March. News 8's Heather Hope spent the day in the middle of it all at Waterfront Park. Chanting for unity, equality, and acceptance. This year's Women's March doesn't have the huge numbers as years past, but the same level of passion and excitement for activism. This is what democracy looks like. Cheering aloud what democracy looks like, thousands took to the streets for the fourth annual Women's March San Diego. Expressing this year's theme, power and unity. You will be included in we. Multiple speakers talked up togetherness. Let us reaffirm our commitment to upholding the rights of women of all backgrounds. We are here today because women sacrificed mightily so that we could gather as we are freely and without shame. Some women showed up in costume. This is about patriarchy and how patriarchy makes women's lives less than, requiring them to play roles and to not be able to express themselves to their fullest capabilities. Patricia Law wanted her voice to be heard. Silence is not golden, which means when you don't speak out, you don't get to be heard and your rights get taken away from you. Feet to the pavement along Harbor Drive. It was a sea of signs and flashes of pink. Imagine women in charge, no wars, no poverty, dignity for all. Dominique Gill and her friends all in the Women's Rising San Diego March t-shirt. We're all for, you know, like, women's rights. We even started a women empowerment club at our school. And not just a time for the women. I think men have, <laughs> I mean, you know, there's good and bad men out there, but I think, uh, you know, we need some change. A nice crowd for the march, but many remember when there are much more. I don't know why they're going down. I'm hoping that that we, the more we advertise it, that it's going to come next year in January. So be here next year. Beth Cormier has marched all four years in San Diego. I think they make a difference. I think when people look at the news, they see that there are a lot of people that care about a lot of things out there. We're seeing a lot more political signs and shirts for this Women's March. So new at 630 details on how this movement ties in with the election year. I'll send it back to you. All right, Heather, thank you.